Hey Quilty friends, I'm Natalia Bonner here to finally show and reveal this cute quilt that I've been sharing with you over the last several weeks. So thank you all for following along. I hope that you've all enjoyed this. I mentioned in the last video and I'll tell you again today, if you have enjoyed this, if you like me sharing like this, kind of a sampler series, just leave a comment and let me know. Maybe it's something I'll do again in the future. But today's video is a little bit different than the ones I've shared before. It's actually going to be a bit longer. While I was quilting this quilt, you know, obviously I recorded a lot of videos, but I also recorded just a little one as a side view. It's something I don't generally do, but I thought it would be fun. A lot of people ask me, you know, to see a little bit more and it's hard to film myself while I'm quilting, especially from the side view. But I thought that would be something fun to do for you today. So it's just a really short little snippet. But just show you, so, and I know that somebody's gonna ask questions about how I quilt, um, kind of about my setup and things, so I'll answer those first before we get to the video, and then I'll let you watch me do some quilting. So I do all of my quilting on a Gamel 22 inch machine. You'll notice in this video, I do have my machine set a little bit higher than maybe what's recommended. I found just from doing so much free motion quilting that I actually prefer my machine to be set a little bit higher. So I know the bar on the front of the machine is called the belly bar or referred to as the belly bar. I actually have it more close to my chest level. I like it that high. Um, I feel like I don't have to hunch over or have as many back issues with my machine being set a little bit higher. So that's the reason why I have it so high. Um, something else, I do all of my machine quilting one-handed. I don't really have a reason why. People ask me all the time, why do you just quilt one-handed? It's something when I started out, I just felt more comfortable just having one hand on the machine I quilt with my right hand and then I rest my left hand down on the actual quilt and I don't know if it's because I do so much ruler work that I'm just used to having my left hand down there or what it is but I always just quilt that way one-handed and my left hand down on the machine. Um, the size of the machine, the Gamel that I'm using, is a 22-inch machine and just a few of the products on this. If you haven't seen all of the other videos yet, uh, the thread that I'm using here today is So Fine by Superior Threads. That's what's on the top. On my bottom, on my bobbin, I have Bottom Line, also by Superior Threads. Now, I do have all of these products that I'm mentioning today available for purchase on my website, peaceandquilt.com. Um, the batting that I'm using here is Quilter's Dream Wool. And I really just love the texture that I'm able to create with the quilter stream battings. They're really great. So that's what I'm sticking with. But I hope you all enjoy this fun little video. If you do want to see more in-depth videos, see a little bit more into my machine quilting process, make sure you check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Natalia Bonner, and I will put the link below. But over there, I do share at least two videos a month. It is a subscription service, but I do go... A little bit deeper dive into my quilts you know walk you through why I quilt different things where I quilt them and it's a little bit more educational over there so if you want a little bit more feel free to check out patreon also one last thing before we do get to the video make sure you check out my books so I do have three machine quilting books beginners guide to free motion quilting next steps in machine quilting and also visual guide to free motion quilting I hope you all have a great day. Leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe. I love to hear your feedback. So see you, everybody.